welcome back to my kitchen for part two of today's episode of Inspired By. Last time we went on a little trip to Heber City, Utah where we tried three different restaurants and loved every single one of them. I seriously had the hardest time deciding what I wanted to try to make here in my own kitchen at home. When I first started this series, my intentions were to find something that I liked enough to come home and recreate in my own kitchen, more of like a copycat recipe, but today's recipe is a little bit different. There is the cutest little bakery called Bell's Bakery there in Heber that really blew us away. We had some amazing pastries at that restaurant. One of those was kind of a surprise for us. It was called an apple Tosca pie. Now I'm probably totally butchering that name, but we're gonna go with it. Their pie consisted of a brioche crust filled with this delicious cinnamony, brown sugary apple filling and topped with a caramelized almond topping. It was seriously so good. They warmed it up for us and served it with a big dollop of whipped cream and we were all in heaven. But when I came back to my kitchen, I wanted something that was more doable for the home cook. Something that you would want to get into your kitchen and make that wouldn't be too difficult or that wouldn't require too many steps. So I'm kind of cheating here a bit today and I'm taking inspiration from that pie to create my own apple Tosca pie. So let's get started. one of my new favorite desserts. The flakiness from the puff pastry, the sweetness from the apples, and a little bit of tartness from using those green apples. 
plus the caramelized almonds on the top. It's just perfection. Thank you so much for joining me and for following me along on this recipe that I was inspired to make. Make sure you follow next time so that you can see where I'm off to next and see what kind of food I'm inspired to make here in my kitchen next. Thanks.